What's up everybody, I'm Random Frank P, back with a very special episode of Room Tour Project, the series where we show off the best battle stations and gaming setups. Now this episode is special because exactly one year ago today, I started Room Tour Project back in my dorm room in college. Um, one night I was just thinking, you know my subscribers really like when I do my gaming setup of Room Tour videos. So what if I made a giant, you know, compilation series about some of the best setups that are out there? And that's how Room Tour Project was born. And here we are exactly one year later from the date with episode 32. So, one year anniversary of Room Tour Project. Hands down, it has evolved into the most popular series on my channel. And I love making it for you guys. So let's kick off episode 32. First up we have a very nice looking triple monitor setup that of course stays true to the ever so popular black and red gaming theme, but I think it is really nice and I'm really liking what he has done to his setup. Getting into those triple monitors, those are the Dell U2414H monitors that are aligned damn near perfectly. His smartphone is the OnePlus One, and into his plethora of keyboards he's rocking the Vortex Poker with Cherry MX Clears the PBT Double Shot with Blood Red keycaps, as well as the Ducky Shine Mini with some Cherry MX Browns, a great selection in case he wants to swap any of them out. Into his audio, that is the Scarlett 212 USB audio interface, and that is then plugged into his headphones, the ATH N50X in black. I'm really digging that custom red cable as well, stay true to the theme. And for his speakers, those are the Yamaha HS5 Studio Monitors. And as well as his other peripherals, the mouse, we have the SteelSeries Rival. And of course, staying true to brand loyalty, we have the SteelSeries mouse pad there as well. Then we do his PC, he's rocking the Fractal Define R4. He's the Intel Core i5 4670K, got some Corsair liquid cooling. 32 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, tons of storage inside, we're talking multiple SSDs, multiple terabytes of hard drive space, and for that GPU, he has the MSI GTX 670. And of course, no setup would be complete without a strip of RGB light somewhere. This one tastefully done with a single strip around the back of the desk for some backlighting and some glow there. But altogether, a great triple monitor setup. I'm really liking it. It's a great way to kick off this episode. Now, this setup is definitely a doozy. Uh, it's from a hacker slash coder. And you can tell that because of all the monitors here. We have tons of real estate. Uh, starting with the triple monitors, he has a vertical monitor to the left, which is a Dell monitor, and a 39-inch 4K Psyche TV all the way to the right. But those three monitors in the middle are the Asus VN247HP, a 23.6-inch LED monitor that all make for a great triple monitor setup. And for its peripherals, if we can make it out from one of those photos, we have the Razer Black Widow and the Razer Death Adder mouse. Not too sure if it's the Chroma versions or not because it is blue, but it could be one of the originals. And for all that going on with all those displays, uh, cable management is pretty tidy with those little cable gutters underneath the desk to keep them off the ground. And for his audio, he has the Audio Engine A5 Plus premium powered speakers with their own speaker stands on the bottom as well, which they're sitting on. And of course, he got a little anime figure here. But what I like even more than his desk setup is his living room entertainment setup. This is awesome. I love stuff like this. And for that massive display, that is a 55-inch Sony X800B 4K TV there. The nice entertainment console for all his consoles, and so you can do console gaming on there. And a huge, huge bookshelf of just games and movies, stuff like that. A great entertainment setup right here. And it wouldn't be complete unless I told you about his Definitive Technology Pro Cinema 800 home theater speaker system that gives him the ultimate form of surround sound all around him for when he's playing games or watching movies. Just altogether a really, really sick entertainment setup. But we're going to go back to his battle station because he's even added more displays. This is an updated version of his already sick setup where instead of having the five on his desk, he has two there mounted to the wall, giving him seven total displays. 
so definitely a hacker slash coding den. And in case you were curious about his PC, inside he has the i7 4770K, 32 gigabytes of Corsair RAM, and a GTX 680. But uh, altogether, since this is not really used for gaming, a really sick coding setup. Next up, I can definitely appreciate this one because this is a really great gaming bedroom. And me, being as I have all of my gaming stuff in my room as well, I always appreciate a good submission like this. Nice to kick back in bed at night to play some games, hear Battle Station right there. Really cool stuff. Getting into his gear, he has three of the Acer 23-inch 1080p LED monitors on a really great, well, very wide desk. For his peripherals, he has a Razer Black Widow Chroma keyboard with the Razer Naga Chroma mouse on a Corsair extended mouse pad. In this shot, I spy a few other things like his microphone, which is the Audio-Technica 2035 XLR mic hooked up to his M-Audio M-Track mix amp. Got a little iPad Mini 2 in the corner there, and an Xbox One controller. That controller also belongs to his Xbox One console, which he has in the little uh, entertainment setup right there with his PS4. You also see a blue Snowball microphone, and I think a pair of the Astro A50s for his console audio. And then onto his PC, inside of his Corsair Graphite Series 760T full tower case, he has a Intel i7-5830K CPU with some Corsair H100i liquid cooling. We have 16GB of DDR4 Corsair RAM and a GTX 980 reference graphics card. And mounted on the wall across from his bed is a 50 inch 4K Samsung Smart TV mounted very nicely with no cables in sight. You can watch some nice movies and TV shows on there. So you got the cable box there, nice cabinets. Everything is very neatly organized. So I could definitely appreciate that. It's not cluttered, there's not too much going on. Got the action figures and the pop figures on the walls there in the shelf. I think it's really nicely put together and shout out for having a really great gaming bedroom. Now I'm a huge fan of the looks of this setup overall. I really like the black, white, and blue theme. And the saturation on that Iron Man poster above really makes it pop. I'm really liking what's going on here. And off to the side, to the right, he has his PC elevated on a LaVolta monitor stand riser. But we'll get into that in more detail in a little bit. Now back to the main setup here with these dual displays. Uh, this is sitting on an IKEA mom desk, by the way. Everyone always wants to know the desks. Those are two HP 23XI 1080p monitors sitting on two of the Just Mobile M table monitor stands. He has the Audio Engine A2 Plus speakers, and I see some backlighting behind the desk as well. A little RGB light strip to add some glow. Always a big fan of that, and here you can see that uh, that cool blue theme really shining really nice. And that TV is a 42-inch 1080p TV um, at the bottom of his bed there, so he can lay in bed at night, you know, again, watch TV, play some games. And that's hooked up to a Sony 5.1 home cinema surround sound system. Now getting into his peripherals, he has the Corsair Raptor K40 RGB keyboard, which is actually my first gaming keyboard that I ever bought a few years ago, and it's one of Corsair's first RGB keyboards that is sitting on a glorious white extended gaming mouse pad. And into his mice, he has two. Uh, one of them is the Corsair M65 RGB mouse for gaming and for productivity. Obviously the best choice here, the Logitech MX Masters mouse. And for his headphones from Sony, these are wireless noise-canceling headphones. Uh, these are pretty popular, a top seller on Amazon as well. And now back to that PC. Inside the NZXT H440 case, he has the Intel 3770K with some NZXT Kraken X61 liquid cooling, 16 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance RAM, and the EVGA 980 graphics card. I like the use of the braided white cables on the inside of the case to match that black and white internal theme. And of course, we got the Ultron figure there just peeking through. Altogether, it's a really nice setup, uh, very neatly organized, and I really appreciate the, the consistent color theme throughout. And these little action figures definitely add some character. 
and this setup now is probably one of the more unique setups on the show. Upon first glance, you know, it's pretty simple, simplistic with that one monitor there, ultra wide, looks very nice. Then you start to move on and you really start to have this thing develop in its own. In the corners, you start to see a little bit of a, uh, a display case by the sides and you uh, get some a glimpse of possibly like a cool textured wall or there's a lot of shoe boxes and then you get the idea definitely awesome stuff a huge collector um, tons of gaming collectibles and you know Batman stuff Iron Man stuff Dragon Ball Z Gundam collectibles stuff even still in their cases all in this absolutely massive wall-wide display case to show these things off. Really cool stuff. And you jump to the other side of the room where you have a huge, huge just wall full of shoes and shoe boxes there. I think it actually looks pretty cool. It gives it some texture and some color as well. It's not just a plain looking wall. But underneath that setup, it is pretty clean. Not a lot of cables going on. Let's jump back to the main setup here after all. This is what this is all mainly about. Getting into that single monitor, that is the LG 34 UM67. Next to that, you see a little bit of speakers as well as on the bottom. Those are the Bose Companion 3 series speakers. For the keyboard, it is the Philco Magistuck with Cherry MX Blue switches. You got the Razer Lycosys mouse, as well as a massive Peckham mouse pad there uh, spanning across the desk. Then into his PC, his case is the Fantex Enthu Lux white case, uh, very nice as well. And for the CPU, he has the Intel i7 4790K, some Corsair Hydro H100i GTX liquid cooling, the EVGA GTX 980Ti graphics card, the nice custom backplate. You see the Stormtrooper there, very nice. 16 gigabytes of HyperX Fury RAM and some white Silverstone cables very cool but when you sum it all up there's no denying this is extremely unique lots of personality in this setup and i like how this collector really went all out not shying back i like how with the massive collection of the action figures and there's that entire wall of shoes you have it complemented by a nice and simple gaming setup there with you know the simple single monitor and it's just very nice and by itself i don't know i'm really liking this one and it's definitely the most unique Tons of personality. All right, guys, that'll do it for the one year anniversary of Room Tour Project, episode 32. Hope you guys enjoy. And to show your appreciation, to say what's up, to say thanks, hit that thumbs up button down below to show your support. It'll mean a lot to me. And it'll let me know you want another year of Room Tour Project as well. If you have any questions, you can comment down below. And also in the description, you can find a few things. Um, but the majority is going to be a lot of the product links to some of the cool things you saw in this video, as well as a simple little tutorial on how to possibly submit your setup to be on an episode of Room Tour Project in the future. And also, since it is the one year anniversary kind of thing, uh, if you haven't already, check out one of my previous videos about the Corsair giveaway. We can celebrate the one year anniversary as well as the giveaway with me and Corsair giving away an entire peripheral set. So you can be on the lookout for that as well. And lastly guys, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. If you're a first time viewer, you're not going to want to miss out on any future episodes of Room Tour Project. As well as all the tech reviews and stuff like that I got coming out in the near future. Well, I'm Random Frank P. Hope you enjoyed the happy birthday one year anniversary episode of Room Tour Project. Have a good day.